Hello everybody, Sagan Cat here. You may not recognize me. On account of the suit, and on account of the haircut. I, I'd let loose that I'd gotten a haircut, uh, earlier on the Discord. Um, that was due to concerns over somebody calling and saying, hey, can you come in for an interview, like, today? And I didn't want to go in with that. So I got a haircut, and I'm glad I did, because I've actually got uh, two interviews, three three interviews this week. I was surprised by one of them. Anyhow, quick update on the channel. Yes, still looking for a job. Uh, right now, I'm feeling very positive about it, because just this week has interviews, and that's great. Uh, the ones that I had went pretty well today. Um, it'd be a position fairly similar to the last position I had, where the roles are not really clearly defined, and a lot of it is, hey, here's this thing that we don't know anything about, and we need it fixed, and we, we're contacting you about it. Bring it on. Um, <clears throat> they're not paying, the, the starting pay isn't what I want, but I've also found that, um, it's better than the starting pay at a lot of other places doing something I wouldn't enjoy as much that are further away. If that made any sense at all to you, then you understand that what I said was, I don't have to drive an hour to Denver. It pays more than all the jobs here in the Springs do that I don't want. And this is something that I could see myself doing. So, Cross your fingers for me. Um, after the first interview on that, I had to take a test for Excel. Of all th I think that Excel is like just the go-to standard, hey, how do we check how good someone is with a computer? Can they muck about in Excel? I'm pretty good at mucking about in Excel. I know I got one of them wrong. I just, I had to guess on it because I've never actually seen it before. But apparently, if you do something weird in Excel, a cell will show nothing but the pound sign, the, the hash sign. If I've seen it before, I don't remember seeing it. I don't remember what caused it. But the rest of it was really easy and just stuff that I needed to, like, poke at Excel a minute for. And they laughed when I asked because they, they handed me this sheet of questions like, how do you do this in Excel? How do you do this in Excel? How do you do this in Excel? I'm like, based off this sheet alone, I could not answer these questions. If you let me sit in front of Excel, I will have this done for you in no time. And they're like, oh yeah, sure, that makes total sense. Everybody here is like that. So, I did. I sat down and uh, they came over to see how I was doing as I was finishing up. They're like, hey, do you have any questions about the test? I'm like, no, I'm done. Took five minutes. <clears throat> and I hope that this isn't overconfidence and that I like messed up a bunch of things in my entire life is a lie and that I don't actually know anything about Excel. But I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, cause I've been using it forever. This is gonna sound a bit like a resume pitch or some kind of sales pitch from my experience, but I, I grew up on computers. The family's first computer was an Apple two and then when we got a PC we were on DOS let's say DOS 5 it might have been earlier we we went to Windows 3.1 and they asked me how I was with Windows 10 uh, I answered honestly I'm like I don't like it <laughs> I could learn it one of my fears with these uh, interviews is that I'm I'm too honest, but they asked me what my strengths were, and I'm like, I'm honest. What are your weaknesses? I'm honest. Um, but yeah, that interview went well. Did the interview, did the test, and then immediately following that, they're like, hey, if you have time, we can bring you in for the a second interview right now. I was like, okay, yeah, let's do it. And that one was a bit more technical oriented as far as uh, technical experience was concerned. But I, I think that one well, too. Um, both the people I interviewed with were pretty nice. Um, seems like an okay place to work. And then tomorrow, I've got another interview at a different place um, that's more along the lines of what I'm looking for. I'm, I'm trying to get into more IT. The problem is that everybody's hiring for customer service right now, which... I mean, yeah, I've got a ton of experience in that, and, like, the management and call center operations and 
tons of that stuff. I would rather move into IT. And unfortunately, with IT, everybody's hiring somebody who has one or both of the following qualifications. Two years in an IT position and or a degree for an IT position. I have operated in neither of those capacities. College and I do not get along. I'm one of those people who learns by experience. But uh, the people that I'm interviewing with tomorrow, um, they, they seemed to really understand that. And they mentioned that it's primarily the big companies that get really serious about it. But if you can just like show in a brief aptitude test that you are technically inclined, then smaller businesses will take you. And there are apparently some smaller ones close to me uh, that are looking for somebody like that. So hopefully that goes well. Channel news. Games this week. You all know what I'm going to say. It's Dragon Ball Fighters. It's coming out on Tuesday. That's not what you guys wanted to hear. Monster Hunter is coming out on Friday. Um, will I be joining everybody for Monster Hunter? Yes. Do I know when? No. I'm going to try <laughs> to be on um, as soon as I get my copy. Hopefully work permitting. Um, I would love to, you know, be able to spend a couple of months doing nothing but playing Monster Hunter and working on my channel more. But I, I think getting a job is more important right now because I have a month left on my severance uh, and I've been looking since October. Um, so, yes, Monster Hunter will be happening. We're going to do it like we did with 4 Ultimate. We're going to, you know, do some months together. We're going to have a grand old time time on stream. I've got chat rooms already open on Discord for Monster Hunter meetups. Apparently, there's a clan system. Yes, I will be making a clan for the channel. Uh, Reggie, Pat, Perionin are going to be joining us. There's tons of people. I, I think this is the most hype that people have actually been for a game on my channel ever? People primarily have come here for Dragon Quest, and we're very excited for, you know, all the Dragon Quest games that we've gotten in the last couple of years. But man, the hype is real for Monster Hunter, and it's understandable. Because one of the best parts about having a community on YouTube and Twitch is that you have a community. As fantastic as Dragon Quest XI is, it's not really a community experience. Yeah, we hung out. We discussed the story as I was playing it. It was fun. It was enjoyable. But it was ultimately people just watching. Which is fine. I mean, that's sometimes that's what you want. You turn on a stream when you're at work. Well, with Monster Hunter, everybody gets to be involved. And they get to play with someone who almost always is on Hunting Horn. It's a win-win. So, yeah, that's going to be exciting. Um, but non-jokingly, yes, Dragon Ball Fighters is coming out this week. You all know I'm a sucker for a good fighting game. I love Dragon Ball. I'm excited for Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, so you can probably expect to see some of that as well. Work permitting. Warframe stuff. The clan continues to grow. And the barracks have been completed. So we actually have room for 20 more clan members. That's right. We've moved our cap from 10, which we filled up in just a couple of days, to 30. So if you are looking for an awesome, growing work, Warcraft? Did I say Warcraft or Warframe? Warframe. I'm talking about Warframe. I'm talking about space ninjas, not orcs versus humans. If you're looking for a growing and fun Warframe clan, please let me know. Uh, I've gotten a bunch of friends requests on PSN since starting to stream it, and that's great and all, but and I appreciate them, but guys, I don't know who any of you are, and I'm not just going to blindly accept these friend requests. If you're on stream when I'm playing, and you go, hey, can you friend me so we can play together? Yeah, sure. Hit me up. Join the clan. Because we need more people donating stuff to improve it for everybody. Um, I think that's it. That's it. Monster Hunter World 
Dragon Ball Fighters Z. Um, and yeah, Warframe, Warframe stuff will continue. Uh, Perry and I are still working together to try and figure out a good, like, w- weekly event for Warframe, for clan members to get together and to keep the clan going despite, you know, the mighty upheaval that Monster Hunter World is going to be to all of our lives. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. Join the Discord channel. That's should be below, uh, and until I see you guys again, this is Saigon. Thank you for your patience in these past few months. I know that I haven't been streaming here as much as I would like, but I do really appreciate all of you understanding how important it is that, you know, I have a job. So, thank you, and see you all next time. Take care.